Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lauren. Today's video is all about work bags because I'm heading back to work in a few weeks. I don't even know where this summer's gone, but I am heading back first week of September. I am a teacher and I have quite a number of work bags I've collected over the years. In total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that I'm gonna show you today. I'm going to be ranking them from my most used to my least used, and I'll let you know why. Um, for each one, I am gonna let you know whether or not a laptop does fit, because I think that's really crucial when you are choosing a work bag. Um, for me, personally, I don't need to take a laptop with me every day to work. I can leave my laptop at work and lock it up, but I'm totally fine. Um, but I know for a lot of you, a laptop is pretty important or an iPad's important, so I will be showing you whether or not a laptop fits into each one. So, we're gonna start with my least used, and that is going to be my Longchamp Le Pliage backpack. It is pretty small, as you can kind of see here. Um, I really do like this. I like the style of it. I like that it's all black and that it has like the black leather, the little sort of silver button. It has a little pop of green because I think this is the recycled or more sustainable version of it. I can't remember. Um, but I did initially get this to use for work. And like I said, I don't need to take my laptop with me every single day. So for me, I can use this. So let me show you really quick. I do have uh, case on my laptop right now. I think with the case on it won't fit into the bag but let's just demonstrate and I have the MacBook Air for reference in case you are wondering. Okay so this is with the case on and you can see that it does not fit and you can see that now it does fit. It is a pretty snug fit as you can kind of see there um, and you'll be able to fit a few more things in, but it's not that big. I think this is better if you are definitely not taking a laptop with you. So the main reason why I don't use this one as much is because even without my laptop in there, if I put, um, this is one of the Lululemon pouches, I can't remember, it's a larger size. If I put that one in, I usually have my wallet, keys, everything in there. My little makeup pouch goes in there. Some workbooks that I want to put in or something like that. By this point, it is completely full. So if I wanna put my lunch in there, I wanna put a water bottle in, I can't really fit that much in. I think this is good. I would say I use this when I am going on field trips with my students because it's really easy to carry. It's nice and light. Um, but in general, for a work bag, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this unless you are very minimal and not taking very much with you. I will say that one criteria that is really important for me is to be hands-free as well I like my bags to be really light to begin with because I tend to take quite a bit of stuff to work with me even though I don't need to I just always do so uh, one criteria is the bag has to be light to begin with and this one is the next bag that I use the least would be my Marc Jacobs the tote bag and I know there's so many of you that love this handbag. I do love it. I love the look of it. I think it's really cool. Um, I just have not been using it very much. And there's a couple of reasons why. And this is the small size. I think they renamed a bunch of them. So this is now called the medium. But when I bought, the, the, bought this, this one is called the small size. It just says the tote bag, Marc Jacobs, and then it has... Um, <clears throat> This little thing on the back so initially when I got this I think I got it before I got really really popular I sort of got it when it was gaining some popularity um, I had this now I think for maybe I want to say like three years or so um, I got it during the pandemic I do know that so um, why don't I use this as much well it's sort of the big branding here. I don't necessarily like that very much. So when I was carrying it, um, I would always kind of carry it with just this side showing here. Um, I don't necessarily like sort of the big, the tote bag anymore. I don't know if I've necessarily, I've kind of grown out of that, I think. Um, so I would carry it this way. One thing, I don't know if you can see, you can see it collects lint and little marks and everything everywhere. And this might just be with the black. Um, I don't know if it's the same with the other colors, but it collects a bunch of lint and 
Um, I always have lint rollers on me because I tip, I like to wear black a lot and I have a cat, but it was just sometimes a pain in the butt to always lint roll this. Um, also, it's a little bit heavy to begin with when it's empty and I think it's just because they used really um, heavy duty, very thick canvas. So it is on the heavier side when you start with it. And plus you have like the straps and like the thicker hardware and things like that. So it can be a little bit heavy to begin with. It is also lined with like a waterproof material. Um, so it is just a little bit heavier um, to carry around. When you fill it up, you can feel it, I find. Um, you can feel the weight like on your shoulder um, as well. Because I like to be completely hands-free, I like to wear this one as a crossbody and I don't necessarily like how the handles kind of stick up like that. Um, and they, it just kind of hits my body strangely so those are the reasons why i think the main one is because it gets pretty heavy once i put everything in there like my water bottle my lunch if i am taking my laptop for some reason it just gets pretty heavy and you can feel it on your shoulder um, i still think it is a really nice bag and i think if you um don't carry as much or if you're planning on carrying it like handheld but you know i like to be always completely hands-free um i just find that this one is just a little bit too cumbersome you know what i mean it's just too heavy and i have to worry about the lint and uh, i don't know okay moving on this one is very new so i haven't even used it for work yet but i did want to show it to you and this one is the prenza schooler baxter bag in the larger size i had so many people request and ask me what could fit in it so i'm going to show you really quickly i'm going to put it at this point in my video because i think this is where it would fit in because the other ones I'm still going to show you I use quite often. So I'm just going to slide this one in here, even though, like I said, I haven't used this one for work yet. So let's start with our laptop. So here we go. Um, I don't think I have anything in here yet. No, I don't. So we're going to slide it in. And again, remember, I have the MacBook Air. So I'm also going to put in my pouches that I put in with my... Um, uh long shop and then there we go so this is kind of the look that you would get now so you can see um you're losing kind of that initial slouch because the laptop is hitting it but you still get a little bit of it now um this one to begin with isn't super heavy i wouldn't say even though it is leather it's not a very heavy leather it's not pebbled either um it's not like say my totem hobo belt bag. Uh, the other thing that I like about this is that you can wear it on the shoulder. It is a really thick strap, so it is nice and comfortable, but you can adjust it too so that you could wear it as a crossbody if you wanted to. But there is still room in there too, so I could probably fit, um, let's try and fit one of these workbooks in as well. So if I slide this in the back. That fits in and I could probably put in um, like a smaller water bottle, but you will see now it's pretty full. If you weren't taking the laptop with you, um, then you definitely have a lot more room. And again, you would get that sort of slouchiness too. I just have to turn this book sideways. So I do think that this would make a really nice work bag. Like I said, I haven't used it yet for work because it is fairly new, but it does hold quite a bit. I've used it twice now, um, just running about and doing some errands and things like that. I do really like it. It does hold a lot. Please note that. So um, I feel like as just like an everyday bag, it's a little bit big for me. So I'll typically use this if I'm doing things like returns or if I'm, I don't know, for some reason I'm carrying a lot that day or if I'm babysitting or something like that, like my niece and nephew and I'm packing snacks and wipes and whatever in here there, then I feel like it's a really good bag, but it does hold a ton. Hang on, I have four handbags left and I feel like these are the ones that I would use the most or that I did use the most throughout this year. So we're gonna go to this one here, which is by Maison Kitsune. Um, I picked this up from Essence. They still have it in stock. They brought it back, but it is at a much higher price point. I think when I bought this, I can't remember. I'll list the price somewhere down below, but I think I paid something like $70 for this. Um, it is ginormous. This one definitely holds the most out of every single handbag that I'm gonna show you today. Like if I show you my laptop in there, like there is 
still so much room in here. This holds everything and more. Like some days I would throw my groceries that I would need to take for work in my in this bag and it just it holds everything. This one is not as heavy as the Marc Jacobs tote even though it is made with a very thick canvas and it is also lined on the inside with black canvas. Um, I'm not sure if it's just not if it's because it doesn't have that additional strap and a ton of hardware but um, there is one really large pocket in the back too but this one is like a black hole you can fit everything in here I also like the style of it I've used this just grocery shopping too um, I think it's really cool it's a little bit different this one if you're wearing like all black it kind of just pumps up the outfit and it adds a little bit of color so I really like this one I use this one quite a bit this year it is pretty um, thin when you look at the side view like that but like I said this will hold everything Honestly, one of my best purchases. I know that when I initially showed this, um, it, you guys sold it out, like you bought it all. Um, but they do have it at certain stores. Like I said, Essence has brought it back, but it's at a higher price point now, even though it is on sale. But I will link that because honestly, I love that bag. And then we're getting down to the last few. Okay, we're gonna go with this one, which is my lululemon shoulder i can't remember what this is called because they don't make it anymore um which is unfortunate again you guys i feel like when i showed this you guys just sold it out everyone bought it um i think it's called the crescent bag i can't remember um but basically it's just kind of like this crescent style hobo bag um and it has so many different pockets it has two hidden pockets here on the side as you can kind of see there which is amazing and then on the inside it also has one two three pockets so one large zippered pocket and then two smaller pockets so this can hold everything it holds again i will show you it holds my um, macbook and it fits it even better than i would say um, for example, if it's better than the long champ, it's a little bit of a different opening, so it almost even slides in easier than the um, Proenza Schooler Baxter bag. This one is very comfortable because it has this like large strap here and it's really stretchy. It's just such a comfortable bag to use. I love it. Gotten so many compliments on this one too. I like this one because it is also water resistant. I believe it is water resistant or water repellent. I don't know why they didn't make this a staple and why they like they discontinued this so quickly because I feel like so many people love this bag and so many people want this bag still. Um, but if you can find it, I don't know, somewhere secondhand, then I would definitely recommend it. This one was a hundred dollars, such a good deal. One of my most used bags that I picked up this year. And then moving to the last three. Oh no, last two. My Chloe backpack. Um, this is from the kids section from Essence. I got this on a crazy deal. I think it was like $300 or something like that. They do have one right now that's $200, but it's kind of like a baby pink. It looks more like a kid's backpack, but they also had Oh, the plain beige canvas version of this. I'll put a picture here somewhere. I almost bought it. I almost bought it, but I didn't because I already have this one, but it was on sale too for such an amazing price. So always check the kids section. Don't sleep on the kids section because you can find so many good things, honestly. Um, this, perfect. Perfect size because I don't really need, like I said, a giant backpack for work but this definitely fits more than the long shop. So this one has a dedicated padded um, laptop compartment, so you don't even need to take the sleeve with you. It just fits my MacBook Air, so I don't think it would fit anything else, like a different size um, or a bigger size like the MacBook Pro. And then I have my pouches that fit in nice and easy. And then I still have quite a bit of room too to play around with. Um, as well, there's pockets on the front, so I put my keys in there again, like my work keys, um, my cell phone. There's pockets on the side that actually fit water bottles, so I would put like, um, or my coffee mug, sorry, not my Stanley. My Stanley tended to tip over, but my coffee mug would fit in there perfectly. And 
this in itself is so light to begin with that even if you pack it completely it's not going to be heavy and because it's a backpack it distributes the weight really well but it also has these handles here too so you could just grab it really easily one of my best purchases i think that this was also like a water repellent fabric um love this use this one so much just was so easy and it's just it's a beautiful color the navy blue i don't have anything like that and then last but not least my most used handbag or work bag i should say is this one here and i don't think i really talked about this one but this one here is just a plain black tote and it's by the brand um brand want Liz essentials it's a canadian brand i believe they're based in Montreal. Um, if you're Canadian, you probably know this bad brand because they're known for a lot of their different types of totes. I think it's called the O'Hare Tote. But I've had this one for quite a while. Um, I picked it up because it's very similar to the Saint Laurent one, and I didn't want to pay the price for the Saint Laurent. But you can see like the corner wear. There's not really any. There's some scuffs on the front that you can see but I know I could take those out with just like a magic eraser but this has been my most used of all my work bags in fact when I was grabbing this one it still had all my stuff from last year in it it had my work laptop it had all the pouches and everything because this is what I was using so the reason why I like this one so much is because again it's so light it's not lined or anything like that so it's so light to begin with but you could fit everything in here so um my laptop my pouches my stanley cup my coffee cup my lunch everything like that but you can often find this on sale i think they even have it um if you're in the vancouver area or lower mainland you can find it at gravity pope they have a vertical one kind of like saint laurent has a vertical one as well but i love this i think when this isn't on sale i think regular price is around 650 canadian so while this is the most expensive bag out of all of these, it's still under a thousand. Um, and you can also use this if you go grocery shopping or anything like that after work. I think it transitions really nicely too. Um, so more so than say if you're going to have drinks with a friend, like instead of taking like a backpack or something like that, you could definitely still use this. So it transitions really nicely from work to like after work events and everything like that. But this has definitely been my most used. So let me know what your thoughts are on these handbags and thank you again for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye.